hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to the update 41 build of project zomboid if you didn't know we actually do this on our other let's play channel i've been doing project zomboid series with hydrocraft which is a big expansive mod that adds a ton of stuff to the game and also our G o r g m mod as well and a couple other things making it pretty detailed a uh, very enjoyable playthrough if you haven't checked it out check it out uh, on the other channel i'll have a link in that in the video description but today we're gonna be checking out the new animation build and so much more so much more i have played for this through a couple hours it's still in the beta phase so you know there's a little bugginess etc expected to happen uh but let's get into a new one it does have a couple new challenges as well It will never end. So it's got a couple other challenges as well. But let's just do... Oh, they have a I think that's actually new to the build, though, because now they have Apocalypse. Let's just go for Survivor, I think. that That's us. That's what I've usually been playing in. And I think we actually might have a good old mold draw. You know, I wouldn't say no to it. I know I see a lot of people that always pick uh, the jobs because they always got these really nice but I like to go to employed just we'll just be a youtuber that's what we'll be all right um, I hope we get some points keen hearing that's actually not horrible many good points to be have. We do have hell yeah thick skin might not be a bad one I will pick one bad trait to, just to make that a little better uh fast reader maybe yeah let's go a little bit fast reader Sunday driver Organized. Uh, you notice all the icons and everything does pop a little more as well. Out of shape. That's kind of me. Uh, can't find anything I really love though. I do feel like they've changed that a little bit. And we'll go for a smoker. It actually does give us another four points, though. And we'll get a little bit of first aid. Because kind of more emphasis on stealth and survival now. On the combat, they a little bit less cheesiness in the combat as well, which we will see. So I think Jean's a little better. Yeah. That works for me. Let's get started. So I've spent a lot of time in Riverside lately, so Moldra will be a little bit changed. And I will tell you, from my experience, even Riverside looks completely different. I found myself getting a little bit disorientated because nothing looked the same. I'm like, man, where are we? the classic start I think in this branch we had the update June Sweden's now or six months later we'll sit there I've noticed the last couple hours I, I did play on this build for a couple updates hotfixes uh, yeah, there's a little bit of bugginess going on a little bit of bugginess but this is a big huge build it does change uh, about everything it's suffice to say Welcome back to Project Zomboid, everybody, where it looks really more like Simish. Okay, they did fix that because whenever I crouched, it brought up the character screen. There was a... Uh... Let's also just close that. Just in case. So the drink... I know all your animations and everything, it does take time. It does take time to do stuff. 
Saucepan. We could use a saucepan. I'm gonna grab that water bottle. I'm gonna eat some fresh corn as well. We'll take that onion just in case. Nothing here, so let's close that door. Gonna close these ones as well. Probably not gonna be too much in this. I noticed like a yeah, there's a lot less stuff, uh, especially if you're not playing Hydrocraft. Yeah, there's a ton less stuff. What else do we got for books? Mechanics for beginners. Yes, please. Advanced cooking, eh, not really. I could actually break down that radio. Actually, just put it right there. Because I think I need a screwdriver to really break that apart, then probably. Nothing in here. Let's move up. Let's also talk about character stats and inventory, etc. for a little bit. Because actually now you are you have layers and protection with your clothes, etc. So with our jeans and stuff, we got a little bit of groin protection, a bit of bite and scratches, etc. So that does add quite a bit. And you can actually see uh, what you're actually wearing as well. Uh, like backpacks, etc. I think there's another door over there, but let's just keep upstairs for now. Open a bookcase. Yeah, let's read that real quick. Expo metal working. Nah, but put that back. Carpentry for beginners. Very good thing to have. We gotta look for cigarettes too. I am a smoker. We'll grab the sheets. It does have a second floor, which I like, but I don't know if this would be a great choice for the first day. Take a denim jeans and a belt. Close that just in case. It's a little weird with these animations now, like you're walking over furniture and stuff and through doors. So there is still a bit of work to be done, but this actually came out uh, in early access around the same time as the, you know, the long dark. And around seven days to die, etc. So it's no stranger to early access. I think it has came. Great. Crap, meta scream. That's just. Thanks. Thanks for that. That's. Lady, get her already. Okay, so that's that's gonna be a problem. Meta scream right off the bat. We're not screwing around, are we? All right. Well, I don't want to be here. All right. So we got. Yeah, you see, zombies varied, wearing different stuff, etc. I don't have a weapon yet, so. Maybe let's just be conspicuous. That house is burned down across there. That's not going to be any good. And you actually see zombies just laying down right over there. That house would be lovely. But it's just chock full. Okay, they heard something over there. I know they still have a long way to go, though, because the uh, animals... Uh... More dynamic weather, I do believe, and story, that's just, okay, let's, holy sh, all right, just be a little more careful, I gotta get out of here, get myself out of the country, and you don't stop on a dime anymore either, 
if you are running, etc. There is a slight delay. So you gotta be very careful with your movement. But just stealthy, stealthy. First off, we need a weapon. God, they're just huge packs of them now. You could not have heard that. A car would ooh, a shed. But they're over by the shed. So we're gonna be very stealthy though. Be very careful as well. I should have gone for that saucepan. Bring the walkie talkie. Turn the lights off. Master Carpentry. Just make her making this place secure. I don't know if there's any zombies in here. More than likely. Also, there's Seven Days to Die. I had their Alpha 18 a while ago. I was proud to be a part of that Alpha 18 uh, streamer weekend. God, Alpha 18 and Seven Days to Die. Dang good, I have to say. Alright, let's look. To get my hands on a backpack. Cooking pot, griddle pan. Could I actually. Well, it's better than nothing. I think the griddle pan is new. I'm gonna have a fresh lemon. So it's not gonna do a lot of damage either. Okay, let's just be careful. Head upstairs. A griddle pan. Oh, we're gonna die horribly. Unfortunately, door in the way. Cannot get to. Nope, just leave that alone. I'm just gonna ignore that. And of course, so many of you get in the beta, make sure you to uh, make sure you do not or back up your saves. So I'm so contrary on survival, I am messing up words today. Oh no, screw that. Out. Out, out, outy. He's gonna be making some noise now. I just did not want to try that out. See the zombies over there. That shed is not viable. Let's see if we can get over to the next house. And you will see that how the houses pop in. You can see the interior and all that. It is more kind of simish as well, which I really do like. So far, nothing's safe today. Now, there are three right there. I've not seen a car yet. This is definitely not a viable neighborhood to stay around. Okay, that's... There's a door open. Okay, I'm not, not sure how you heard that. Okay. Maybe we can get another one. If we're lucky. Okay, Jesus. Alright, well, okay, run. That's a little bit of a panic. Lose them around the house, maybe. Okay, she's actually going in the house now. So 
So I think I'll take that as my cue to GTFO. I do believe we can get around these. We should be able to get over up on these. Doing the same thing, I think zombies can as well if they flop. Okay, well, let's. We're in the forest to save our own lives right now. I think we lost them over there. As long as we get more outside town, I think it'll be okay. Okay, well. No, no. Okay, we need it. I'm really hoping that window can get over the window. Okay, so let's get out. Okay. Car, 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 car. I don't see any key close by, though. Uh, blood on the front of the hat church. God save us. I don't see any. Maybe they got lost inside. I'm going to give it a go. There's going to be too much here. There's blood everywhere. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I don't think there's going to be anything else to help us here. Yeah, there's a big can of nope right here. Well, this definitely gives it more kind of a horror vibe now. Which I, I do like. Okay, there's nothing in here to help us. Maybe the key would be in there. Also, they feel like they can hear a lot better now, too. The thing I've noticed is, like, they find a lot better to hearing. Okay. Oh my god, yes. Let's check out vehicle mechanics. This is actually quite lucky. This is quite lucky indeed. Do we have any gas? So that's the main thing. Out of gas. Well, fudge. Okay, we do have a key, a car key though. And let's actually check again and see how overall condition on this. 57. Not, not very good. Not, this would get us to where we need to go. At least out of here, so, uh, I need just a smidge of gas. I think that wrench would actually be a little bit better. I feel like the griddle pan... Wrench is a slightly better idea. Alright, well, let's. We're gonna head south. I always feel like south is better. So we do have a little bit of that, but. Yeah, everything uh, graphically pops a lot more now as well. Let's avoid rustling the trees. Okay, this house is not gonna have a lot. Uh, there's three over there. You had to jostle the tree, didn't you? Run. Run to the trees. They might. 
I may not figure it out. Car down here, if I could siphon some, I think we do need an empty gas can though. Okay, they are, they definitely see me. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. Latter-day Saints. That's... That's a lot. Just keep cool, man. There's a zombie with a bandana. Oh, Lord! Okay, Lord, a lot of Lord of Mighty. Let's just run. We, we can do this. Oh, a fire hydrant! That's actually kind of cool. Our plan is... Alright, I got an idea. A little bit of panic, it's fine. Oh, okay, well. Well, we can lose these guys in the trees. I don't think we're going to get back to that car anytime soon, it looks like. Might be a playthrough I had back in the early days of Project Zomboid. Well, actually, because walking to town used to, to the next town used to be a thing. But it would take you for, like, you would, oh, well, okay then. That's, uh... You're a little panicked. Well, you know... Can't really help you there, son. Trying to be quiet as we can, but uh, I think we can lose them to the trees here. Actually, yeah, I'm really disoriented right now. Ooh, a country road, though. Not like West Virginia country roads. These are actually good. You're on edge. I see a car. One at a time, we're okay. Could be a farm indeed. I saw a car. We got some country roads, so this could definitely be good. Running away has aided us so far. The skills looking by the by. Yeah, a little bit sneaking, a little bit slight footed. I think sneaking will definitely be more of a thing. For example, and I know it's a lot of people that always see running around, but not me, I've always been a sneaker. Alright. I think we're actually at least for right now. I'm not seeing anything. So let's follow this trail. This has got to lead to something. I'm hoping like a country farm out here. He's a little anxious on edge. I know we don't have any cigarettes though. Sadly not going to be as easy to find. Trail could be yeah, this could be go anywhere actually. Without a car, everything takes uh, forever and a day. So I want to go. I don't feel like that's an area. Get a little bit hungry. I did save an onion. Or did we not? Did we? Did we eat that onion? Maybe I forgot to take it. Sorry. Also, just another empty area. Maybe these were like campgrounds? Oh, well, hell, I'm mean, completely lost then. We need to get back to civilization. Like, I don't think that's a good idea. We'll sprint a little bit. I don't think there's any 
Because there's no people out here. Which is safe in its own way. Let's just search for anything out here. This one could be a little bit vulnerable, but... Yeah, we could just live out here now. I did see a really interesting uh, playthrough. Do we have anything? Of uh, Ghoul King and Ambiguous Amphibian. They did a little just uh, naked and afraid in the woods thing. It was kind of funny. i definitely go check that one out. Yeah, Ghoul King and Ambiguous Amphibian. Really two great uh, probably Zomboid Let's Players. Kind of renewed my interest in playing Project Zomboid. Uh, we're gonna have to head back because I honestly don't think. I think we're in like the woods and we're gonna die. Well, I've got an idea. We're gonna cut through. It's getting later in the day, too. If we get caught with zombies in here, we're. I'm not saying screwed, but uh, not a good time. Because the road was back this way. Got a good idea. So definitely running away is more more of a good strategy in Project Zumbo than it used to be. It used to be you could pretty cheese the combat. I think, yeah, the road is definitely to the right. Trees are opening up a little bit more. Okay, there's the road. Now let's not get too far on the road. Oh, we're gonna be exhausted if we find anything. Street light, that's gotta be semi important. Or maybe not. So I think this road, uh, if we're going south from Uldra, does go quite a ways, especially if you're on foot. Like, these are realistic miles here. Getting back to the city, not the best idea, I gotta say. If I was in a realistic situation, I would stay away for far from cities as I could. I know you need supplies, but. Just not worth it. I'm gonna try to forge in the trees a little bit. But we're definitely out of zombie territory. Which is good and bad in the way, because we're out of we're not our nearest supplies. Forge a little bit. I'm not having very good luck because we're not really any good at forging. Books first would be at best. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna. Don't want to run. Can avoid it. Might be a gas station or something. We almost had a good out with that car. I broke down cars. It'd be kind of almost cool if you had somebody just driving by. Like, hey, help! I'm human. The music seems to uh, I think they've got a couple new tracks. This po uh, product zombie music always good. Okay, I'm gonna actually murder you. Okay, never mind. Not sure where those guys came from, actually. Okay, whoa. Why are those trees? Don't shout as well! That was a horrible idea. I don't know why you did that. Try to outrun them. I don't see them now, so maybe we outran them. 
right. There's still a random pack of zombies out in the middle of nowhere. There's just so much stretch of road here. Yeah, we could definitely use a break. Cause I know we're gonna get tired sooner or later here. No bed. Really, we skipped with our lives, but that was about it. And heading back would be a death sentence, I think, at this point. Just hoping we'd find a farmhouse, something out here, but. I kind of forgot how stretch of road this is. I'm, just, I'm hungry. So I'm getting, getting hung a little bit hungry. This road, we've been going on this road for miles now. So definitely the city, uh, once it seems this as, uh, could actually have been in that. Uh, countryside house out in Riverside survived uh, quite a while already uh, Just stay out there even if you get like a meta scream helicopter, etc. I never see anything out there Nothing ever seems to spawn I think we're pretty far from the city now What is welcome to the country roads of Muldrow, Kentucky I think Project Zomboid is probably about $20 US. I highly recommend it. Uh, it is quite a good time. I just have multiplayer as well if you're big in the multiplayer crowd. Also enjoys, it also employs a really great solo player experience as well. I'm going to die on this freaking road, aren't I? That's just the way of things. I just want to try a forage again. Is our forge skill going up? And I know we're not gonna have any XP boost from that. A four. So really, it would take us. I think we're maybe getting one point. I'm not finding anything, even in foraging right now. Uh, so a little bit hungry. We're very on edge. We haven't had any cigarettes. I'm just really not looking forward to running. We're gonna get exhausted. Don't run. You're just gonna die tired. Yeah, there is no map in game. Like you do get maps in game, but there's no like GPS map. This road will get us to town, but it's... I'm hoping there's a little something in between. I haven't been down this road in a while. I have walked it before. It was an incredibly long time. And I did have supplies. This is just an amazing trip. You would definitely need gas cans if you did do, do this trip. More, more road. Like maybe there'd be a cabin or something out there, but I, I really doubt it. Also weird that we just found those zombies out there, too. More trees. Let me find a survival axe. You could build a nice house out here. Okay, seriously, this is the longest road ever but we're not dead though oh actually we come to an intersection now that is an interesting question oh i don't know i feel like oh, that branch is out that branch is out you all thought we were gonna die all right so careful now because i oh hello there's a van over here. With this many cars, there's got to be the dead. It wouldn't make sense. We could actually sleep in that car if we needed to. Let's 
to go check this. Oh, you are. But do you have gas? Is the main thing. Like, I doubt this would start. The muffler's horrible. And you're also out of gas. Oh, that's. I might be able to sleep in here tonight. Oh, candy. Oh, I would eat that. Oh, oof. oh goodness. That's good stuff. Empty gas can. Well, you know, I'm not going to say no to that. Yeah, a lot of these cards are already broken. Finding it really creepy there's no zombies right now, though. We got to get some food, but... It's also getting night out though. If I get a car, we could maybe turn this around. You are also. We do have a little bit of gas though. I think on the other side. It's a little bit of gas. Tissues. Check inside the car. Mirror eraser, all right. I feel like we're pretty safe at the moment. Oh, this car is definitely not Go box. Flashlight. Actually, not a horrible idea. Oh, we're a little bit. That's a little bit restrained. It's good for you. More cars down here. be very bad for zombies, but I don't feel like there's any zombies here, though. Which is really weird. We can sleep in a car, though. It's... Also, God. And I guess as well. Lock's broken. A big hiking bag, yes, because I wanted to show this off anyway. Alright, so let's get... I throw these books in back. Reduce our carrying weight a little bit. Oh, did we get a tree branch? Oh, I did. Oh, we actually did get an unknown berry, though. You know what? I'm gonna eat that. So we actually did find something we were foraging. So I don't think it pops up automatically. Oh, that's good. Hopefully not poison. Let's check this one. Oh, we're getting a little drowsy. Gas. Out of gas as well. This might be the one I sleep in tonight. Oh, we got it. We got a key. But like, how bad is this? Antidepressants, not a bad idea. Painkillers as well. I'm gonna go check that other car. But I think I'm putting the gas in there. We're gonna see if we can get that. St I don't know if we can get that started. 
I get in the other one. Let's just check for gas. That's not going to get us very far, though, is the thing. Like, it'll get us a, about maybe a mile. It's working as well. I think we should probably turn that off. Yeah. And we're gonna go get some sleep, I think. I think that a horrible idea. You're a little hungry. I know, but... Uh, I think we're gonna get some sleep. Also, make sure we lock the doors. Good idea. And we're gonna get some sleep and hopefully not get horribly murdered. Let me see if I can get some more gas in this. It's just two gallons is not. All right. I know we're hungry as well, but maybe if we forage. Now, how bad is this muffler gonna be? The muffler is actually the one good thing about it. <laughs> it's just so bad. It might get us back into the town. It's a gas tank. Oh, it's just gonna leak like a sieve. I'm gonna keep my other options, see if we have any other options. Also, keep your. Re equip that. Let's just go down the road here, because it's very interesting. I mean, they've, they've all had to be going somewhere. Well, out of here, probably. Okay, there's another car. If I could even get that to start, I this one actually looks in pretty decent shape. I might try to just head back to uh, Moldrow. I know dangerous as it sounds, but tire pump. Let's see if we got anything. That'll be an excellent. Oh god, this car could be. Let's see if we are a little bit lucky. But you are also craptastic. I just want to take a little look around. It's pretty much where all the cars stop. Now we only know the closest the closest town is probably too far away. But at least I, as long as I can get back in my area was in Moldrow because we are hungry and I need cigarettes we could try to get it going did I even try to get any gas out of that car no I think I've got some to add though maybe I didn't add that before we can try to get this going I I severely doubt. This is our best chance, so. Good, good luck. Oh my god, really. Hopefully, you come across something. Yeah, anything at this point. I'm gonna be out of. Might make it back into Moldrow. This is keeping gas better than I thought. Oh, I can't even fix up this van. That would, be, that would be nice. This needs a lot of work, though. Oh, Jesus almighty.
Gas and go. Okay. I'm draw these guys off a little bit. Holy crap! Alright. Audi. Uh, we're gonna get to the edge because I think they're gonna kinda go around this. I guess it's getting kinda. I gotta get loose field to get the car there. Right out. Let's go in the trees. They might congregate around there. Let's see. Are you getting hungry? Well, you know what's in a gas station? Cigarettes. They're all, they're all heading over there. I think on survival as well, I think there's their the AI is really stepping up on you as well. Really enjoying the heck out of this animation update though. And it is uh, so much more. Okay. I am very ninja. I am the knight. Just gotta make that gas station. Get some more gas. I mean, the car works. It's in horrible shape. But the car does work. I've got a gas can. I think I did drive off a majority of these guys. Be careful. If I get to the pumps, electricity is still working. I can get gas. We can get out of here. Pretty much go wherever we want. But there's some chips in there. Uh, sweet Mary and Joseph. I'm gonna be vulnerable though. Somehow they hear us. Gonna be uh... okay. I got fuel. I've actually got a full gas can. I'll put that. Now, food. Food would be an, a glorious thing. I'm going to check the dumpster at this point. He only hasn't eaten in a day, though, so you, you kind of wonder a little bit. That's not an actual thing, I guess. And if I have any more gas cans, it's uh, not a horrible idea. Regular tire. Ooh, ooh. That. Drink all that. You are. Oh, God, yes. It does have the animation as well. Kind of primitive a little bit, but. Okay. Let's grab that for later a little bit. The cupcake. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, cupcake, good. Cupcake, very good. Okay, so. My main concern now is cigarettes. Lighter, not yet. I don't think that's. Lug wrench down the line. It's actually first supplies we've seen. Dude, we haven't had food in a while. More gas cans, actually a pretty good idea. Did 
You're actually full. Yeah, that one was actually full. Weird they kept that just in there like that, but... Chips. So we might get a little fat for paint tank. Let's actually look at magazines here. Now if I could get this car or Rosewood map. Which we're not currently in Rosewood, but... Eh, good to have. Moldrow map. Oh, this is what we're looking for. So let's read the map. Uh, if I remember the map right, I think uh, we are... I'm going to think right there or there. Yeah, I think right here. Okay, police station up the road. So this is where we came out the church and we pretty much... Yeah, ran in a big circle. Right now we got some maps, so we do get a pen. We can uh, actually mark that. There's actually quite a bit of food here, but bathroom zombies scare the crap out of me. I'm gonna wash myself though. I feel like that's that feels better at least. Do I have a cleanliness thing now? I can't remember that. Okay, we're all gravy right now. Fill that water bottle. Get something to drink as well. We can't sleep. I sit on the ground. I don't think we can sleep though. I wonder though, let's just, uh, we'll test it out. Well, I think this is kind of more the resting mechanic. Actually, gas station pretty clear. Cookie. I'm gonna need a cookie too. I feel like you burned a cookie. Let's get another gas can. Yeah. This is good. Like, I'd really, in theory, like to be able to. Can you not. Oh, God, we can just get it full, I guess. Is that too much? Probably. Yeah, just leave it here for now. If I have to run, I think it's a horrible idea. Okay, so. If we could leave this hopefully this place would be intact. I'm surprised it is, honestly, but. I guess we can get a generator out here. Okay, we're safe. We got a full belly, we got supplies, and we have gas. And we've got zombies. That's, uh... Let's go... Make sure they have leather creeping towards it. We can always get gas, and we can always just get in the car and go. Uh, when we're safe, stop and put more gas in. Then I'm gonna go in the tree line a little bit. As long as I'm not rustling the trees, I think we're actually pretty ninja. It's a, I know, there's a little bit of noise. It's not the noise, it's just, it's just a bird zombie while well, you guys hunt there are all living things, I suppose. Sit over. So for a bit of me, I'm actually, you know, I got about 40, 50 hours in Project Zone, but not a, not a ton by any means. Uh, just mostly, I just go and check the build every once in a while. 
I don't ever want to get attached too much to Survivor because, you know, save wipes, etc. That's uh, okay. We've got to get to this car and get out of here. Just run. Run, 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 run. Sorry. Right. Way here. We are gone. We're gonna eventually get them going back that way, but we're out of gas anyway. Which is ironic in a way. How's the engine still running though if uh gas in there. Oh, that's gonna take a while. Come on. We have more gas in there? Yeah. So I think we have to get it out of our backpack. Let's just fill the sucker up. on it. Sadly, no cigarettes to be found. That's actually a pretty dangerous thing, because I thought we'd have more cigarettes. Okay, do I have any more gas? No. Let's go, we'll go check out the vehicle mechanics now. You see, this would be a really good car if it was in better condition, but it's so much to repair. Oh, actually, we're almost full tank. Right, ladies and gentlemen, here. This is uh, Build 41, the animation update. Just want to bring, I think I'm like clocking in about an hour here, but bring a little survivor's tale of Roger Campbell here. He survived. He didn't get horribly murdered. I gotta say, that's very nice. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button and check out my other Let's Play channel. We'll be continuing our Let's Play of Project Zomboid as well. And I will uh, see you there.